There is less than 300,000 kilometers on the dashboard, but the car actually was driven for more than 460,000 kilometers. Hello, so today I was discovering odometer rollbacks with different types of OBD2 scanners and before I show you how to do it, you need to know which tool you can use. Okay, so code readers like this and ELM327 adapters with free OBD2 apps will not help you. And the reason for that is that they can read the live data only from the engine. You need to access live data not just in the engine but also in other control modules to verify real mileage. These tools will read live data only from the engine. You need to have OBD2 scanner that can enter multiple control modules and read live data from them. If you for example have 20 control modules in your car, the mileage may be stored in 5 of them. You can either use this ThinkDiac 2, you can use OBD11, they both can read live data. The ThinkDiac 2 will do it for almost any vehicle and OBD11 adapter can do it for Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and Seats. I also tried this Carly adapter, but it is not possible to read live data with Carly from all control modules. It also reads only the engine data, same as the ELM adapters, but the website says that Carly can do used car check and compare mileage from multiple control modules and it will give you a report if the mileage was rolled back or not. So I will be putting this to the test if it actually can do what it promises. And remember that you don't need to use these exact OBD2 scanners, you can choose any other, but it must be able to read full live data, not just engine data. If you don't have any OBD2 scanner that can read live data from all control modules, the links to buy one of these will be in the description. And now let me show you how to actually do it. Okay, we will be starting with the ThinkDiac 2. Let's plug it into our OBD2 port. Now we can open the ThinkDiac app and what we are going to do is enter multiple control modules and look for the mileage and distance data. You can usually find those in engine control module, instrument cluster control module, ABS control module, telematics control module. The safest way is to look in every control module. So this is the dashboard and it is displaying value in miles, 180,000, which is 290,000 kilometers as shown in the dashboard. Now I moved to engine control module and I selected the control module distance driven. which now shows value of 270,000 miles, which is 460,000 kilometers. So this car was rolled back for almost 200,000 kilometers. And we could find that out with fairly cheap OBD2 scanner. It costs less than $200. And if you think that is expensive, you can also use OBD11 with free plan. You only need to have the adapter. So let's plug it in, open the OBD11 app and before I go to engine you can actually go to multimedia, select live data called multimedia display unit 1 and that will show you the operating hours of radio which you can use to calculate estimated car's mileage. And now again in the engine control module we can find the evidence of more than 460,000 kilometers. Okay, now we can try Carly. I was skeptical about this adapter because it cannot read live data, but it says it can do used car check, so let's try it. I connected the app, select used car check. Now when I open the report it says that there wasn't any rollbacks on the vehicle and the mileage is genuine, 290,000 kilometers. Okay, so don't trust Carly with their used car check, it doesn't work. Also keep in mind that every car is storing different mileage data in different control modules, so to verify real mileage you will need to go 
one by one into each control module and look for the distance data. It is usually the distance life data are usually called distance driven, total distance driven, mileage, odometer readings. Every brand uses different words for this. But also remember that you won't be able to find proof of rolled back odometer on every vehicle. Some vehicles can be rolled back, but when they rolled back mileage, they also adjusted every life data in vehicle, so there is no evidence. I already used the OBD2 scanner method to verify mileage on multiple vehicles, and I was able to detect mileage frauds on different car because when someone is rolling back the odometer, they often forget or don't care enough to change all life data values and the more mileage life data will be on the newer cars which is great because when it comes to older cars you don't really need to verify for mileage tempering you know if you are buying 20 year old vehicle it doesn't really matter if it has 200,000 or 1 million kilometers the most important is overall shape but on the newer car when you have like this Skoda is 4 year old and there can be huge difference in cars value with 400 60,000 kilometers or 290,000 kilometers. So especially when buying newer car, always check for rollback mileage.